Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 9th of June 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Okay, my fabulous friends, let's start with our affirmation from the Starseeds Wisdom for Spiritual Growth. What is the message from Spirit? For my wonderful friends, thank you. And you get, I'll just show you the reverse, <laughs> and you get truth. See your light, know your power, and have the courage to walk your truth. Okay, my wonderful friends, let's see. What message Spirit has for us for the middle of the week. Okay, here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Wednesday the 9th of June thank you 2021 what do my wonderful friends need to know from the light seers tarot for Wednesday the 9th of June 2021 what is the message from spirit thank you okay <clears throat> And your cards are the Queen of Wands, followed by the Two of Swords, and finishing with the Three of Wands. Wow! Um, this Two of Swords, uh, straight away I'm drawn to the, um, the little affirmation card. Um, okay. Your first card is the Queen of Wands. There is such beautiful, radiant energy that comes from this card. Um, okay, queens, they are motherly, compassionate, uh, creative. Um, they have a certain awareness. Um, and the Queen of Wands, well, she is really creative. Um, she is about creative expression. Um, I feel a real joy, a real warmth, there is real heat um, coming from this card. Um, and of course we are um, one day away uh, from the new moon uh, solar eclipse. Um, so this energy is really building up. Um, Okay, queens collectively are cup energy, so this is a mixture of uh, fire and water, the elements of fire and water. Um, but I feel that you are still nicely even, evenly balanced with these two elements, as in um, uh, you're not getting too overwhelmed by your emotions and feelings. Um, and also you are taking really good care of yourselves um, and not getting too um, burnt out, um, as can happen with the element of fire. Um, so I really feel the, the word blend is coming. There's a real nice blend of um, energies here. Um, and you really are... Um, there, there really is a spark 
um, that is really ignited within you um, and with all of this self-care that you have been doing this this flame within you is is just starting to grow um, I am hearing from spirit um, the Queen of Wands energy, she's very stylish, uh, very charismatic, you will enjoy being around her energy, she's a good sense of humour, she is about fun, um, she is about being sociable, uh, social communication I am also hearing. Um, the Queen of Wands coming today to put the fun and excitement back into your world. Okay, next we have the Two of Swords. Two, options, choices, decisions, relationships, partnerships. The Two of Swords talks about, um, talks about a decision, um, a choice that you have uh, to make. Um, and I love that this truth card has come out because this is what spirit is really saying to you um, on the bottom of this card. It was have the courage to walk your truth. So I think I feel that there is a, a decision um, to be made. Um, and I feel that, that, that you're hesitant on making this decision because it's going to affect others around you. Um, however, spirit is saying the more that you procrastinate, the more that you sit on this decision, uh, the more uncomfortable it is going to be for you. Um, spirit really saying it is time to be in your truth. Have the courage to walk your truth, um, spirit is saying. Um, and the sooner that you make this, this choice, this decision, um, and, and start following your truth, your own path, um, this energy here will disappear. Um, I feel at the moment that this is, um, that you are conflicted, um, spirit is saying, um, um, fragmented, scattered, um, and while you are in all of this energy, you are not being focused like this Queen of Wands, who really is um, a, a master manifester, um, and she, as we see her looking here, she's looking to the flame, she really is focused, she really is connected between um, herself and the divine and the material world. So, spirit saying, make this decision, do it as soon as possible so that you can refocus, so that you can get back to the plan. Um, wow, spirit is saying, you know the plan. It's time to get back to the plan. Um, so stop hanging around, uh, make this decision, be in your truth, and the sooner you do it, the sooner you will be in the energy of the three of wands back again three <laughs> I love the number three the trinity the three in one the godhead number um your mind body and spirit thoughts words and actions being congruent being your authentic genuine self um what you what you think um or, or what you mean you say you do I am hearing um the Three of Wands, well, I love this illustration of the Three of Wands because you get to look over this beautiful pink ocean, um, this unconditional love colour I am hearing, pink, wow. Um, this is you looking over this ocean, um, this ocean of unconditional love, because this is you now, having made this decision, being in your truth, uh, you are back in your heart. Um, here there is a disconnect between um, uh, heart and mind uh, coherence. Um, here we have pulled it all into perfect alignment. Um, what you are thinking, you are really feeling in your heart and you are genuinely going to be carrying out uh, the action. Um, as ever, uh, Spirit always saying, you know what, um, to um, be mindful of the uh, spirit in which you are carrying out your actions. Here, the spirit in which you are carrying out your actions is indecisive. Um, it's... Um, 
convoluted I'm even being given. Okay. Um, so getting yourself back into alignment, my friends. Um, getting your heart, mind coherence back again. Um, and then you can look forward to your future um, when you are in your truth. This is you getting back to the plan, Spirit is saying. You know the plan. Get back to the plan. <laughs> oh, OK. OK. <clears throat> Next, we will have Lightworker Oracle by Alana Fairchild. <clears throat> is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends for Wednesday thank you okay spirit just wanted me to bring these two cards together and talk about um, it's fire energy it's real creative energy it's real uh, energy that you can express into the physical, into the material world, that you can bring your dreams, goals and desires into the material world, but not when you haven't been decisive. This is really make your mind up time, spirit is saying. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, OK. Well, let's just lower the camera. There you go. And your Lightworker Oracle card is, oh wow, 43, the sixth ray of devotion. Okay. And of course, four and three, adding up to the wonderful number seven, the number of uh, spirituality, the number of magic. The sixth ray of devotion bestows the qualities oh, wow, of persistence, unwavering focus and intensity of feeling. It is a gift of the strength to move mountains with your will for what you love. When the sixth ray of devotion appears, you are being given guidance that even if you do not seem to have much worldly power right now, the power of your beliefs can conquer obstacles. Archangel Uriel helps you receive the blessings of the sixth ray now. You are receiving a blessing of the sixth ray of devotion. It is serving your soul growth and will help you develop faith in your principles and trust in the power of your beliefs. You will be able to recognise and appreciate the extraordinary strength within you and realise that you have enough willpower to keep working towards your dream, overcoming any obstacle until you are divinely successful. The sixth ray reminds you of the power of love which can conquer anything and everything. Love is an empowering, motivating force, far stronger than fear. Love is the foundation of authentic spiritual devotion. Devotion to the divine empowers us to bear burdens, overcome obstacles, manifest all manner of beautiful visions in a world that may at first assure us that our dream is not possible. The sixth ray blesses you with spiritual stubbornness and a sacred rebellion against any odds. Oh, friends, <laughs> spiritual stubbornness. I like it. I like it. I like it. OK, <clears throat> next we will have a Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends for Wednesday the 9th of June 2021 what do my friends need to know from spirit Wednesday the 9th 
of June 2021. Okay, friends, <clears throat> excuse me while I just take a sip of water. Along with the gorgeous sunshine, um, my allergies are really quite aggressive at the moment. Okay, here we go. Your Starseed Oracle card is... <laughs> you got the love. Oh, and I know that tune as well. Um, and who, what was her name? Stacy. I can't think now. Anyway, nonetheless, you've got the love, friends, and I was seeing it in this pink ocean. Um, Hadrian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Ooh, okay. But you got the love. I need to see me through. I love that song. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description box as well. Okay, <clears throat> the Hadrians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love, who see love in all people and situations. As a result, they can find it hard to have boundaried, independent, healthy relationships, because they only see the unconditional nature of those that they meet. The lovers of the cosmos, they dive in fast, they're here to learn how to love while in a separate body, to learn to love self first and then establish healthy relationships with others, to remember that the love they seek is already with them, that they truly do have the love all on their own. The message of this card is to review the ways that you may need to establish healthier boundaries. Perhaps you're in a codependent relationship in which you may be losing your sense of self. It's common for starseeds to dive deep into relationships, particularly with those who feel safe and familiar at a soul level. Perhaps you're in a relationship in which you give more than you receive, or perhaps there's an uncertain volatility to it and you're always unsure where you stand. This card is a sign to do a relationship review and see what energetic agreements you've made, consciously or unconsciously, to acknowledge if there are relationships in which you feel anxious or powerless, in which you don't feel like it's safe to relax and just be you, to assess if there are any places of inadequacy that you've used a relationship to soothe and cover up. Your starseed soul enquiry is, do you... Do I lose myself in relationships? And if so, how? And how can I develop a deeper love for myself? Wow! The fact that it's come under the two of swords, friends, <laughs> says it all. OK, <clears throat> here we go. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Ruby. <laughs> OK. Your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Oh, yes, it's Beata's favourite card. <laughs> There's always hope, Spirit is saying. Always hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you and look up to the light. OK, thank you, Ruby. A fabulous card. <clears throat> You have been through a challenging period, but now the darkness is lifting and a new day is dawning. Fill your heart with hope, for the worst is now behind you, and this turning point brings new possibilities for peace, happiness and prosperity. If you have felt broken, you will return to wholeness, and if your life has been chaos, order will soon be restored. If you have been in scarcity, Abundance will begin to flow, and if you have felt lost, 
you will find your way. This unicorn brings the reassurance of a new beginning <clears throat> and the blessings that are to come. He asks you to focus purely on the outcome that you want. Don't look back. Only ahead to your new destination. Turn your face to the light. Take one step at a time, knowing that with each stride, your life will be easier. Be patient on your journey and know the unicorns are by your side every step of the way. Oh, friends, what a beautiful, beautiful message for you from Spirit. Wow. OK, well, let's see <laughs> what our trinket or trinkets will be for today. Whoop, OK, well, we have two. And they are both silver, so it is both divine feminine energy. Um, butterfly, where would you like to go? Of course, on the two of swords. Um, butterflies representing transformation um, and change. Also, they can be messages uh, from a loved one in spirit. And also, you get musical note um, or the... Um, the, the base clef, <laughs> um, where would you like to go? On the sixth ray of devotion, um, I really feel that Spirit is saying here um, that your connection with the divine is, is when you are making that beautiful music, that wonderful frequency, that magical vibration, that fabulous energy. Um, and here we see that you are cut off and disconnected from that um, energy. Um, spirit reminding you, you are a free spirit. You do have free will. You do have free choice. You can express that into the universe. You don't be afraid to be in your truth. I am also hearing. Um, OK, friends, I think that's it. I'm not picking anything more up. Or I think there may be just one moment. Love songs. Actually, I'm just being given um, maybe play love songs today. Um, Spirit is saying um, helping you to reconnect um, and helping you to find your way back onto uh, your path, your destiny, uh, looking forward to your future. Wow. 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 Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares, welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.